we are about to take you inside one of the most amazing places. But you do have to ask yourself, how well do you know your city? Now, I love taking a good selfie like the rest of us do, but sometimes they just fall flat. A piano in the middle of a city. Now, there is one amusement park who's changing the way we experience dark rides. <laughs> Now this is the classroom, but it's not until we get outside where things really start heating up. Welcome to Bedrock City, Yabba Dabba Do. This is just one of 16 locations where you can play like a kid, but party like an adult. Well, you're going to do 957 touchdown dances. Actually, this is really good, but again, I'm just one opinion. But being at NASA, they have 3D printers right around the corner, so those are 3D printed cameras. Let's see how I go from this to this. This is one of the oldest mining towns out west. The ability to run their business successfully. I'm Annie Taylor reporting. Now, I love taking a good selfie like the rest of us do, but sometimes they just fall flat. But if you want to step up your selfie game, this is where you have to come. We are in Denver Selfie Museum. It's an interactive museum for Instagram fans, for those who love to take beautiful pictures and post them on Instagram. It's definitely an unconventional art exhibit. We position ourselves as an Instagram museum, which should automatically draw a crowd from millennials and younger generation. Usually the generation who tends to be more interested in social media than museums. But this exhibit caught the eye of New Mexico resident Alexandria. We've seen this exhibit, so I thought it would be so cool to do. <laughs> and I know like it's gonna, the Instagram pictures are gonna come out super good. Here at the Selfie Museum, to get a good photo, it's not just about the backdrop. They've given you props too. From bubbles, to bananas, hello, to fans, and to giant chopsticks. This is work of one of the local artists. Igor and Alex enlisted the help of local artists in the creation of some of the installations. Everything that you have that you see that's hand drawn is done by local artists. There are dozens of selfie museums around the country in cities like New York, San Francisco and Los Angeles and they plan to open their second location in Seattle. It's a good one or two hours of your life that you spend here. You come out with a smile. And of course, a good photo, caption, and hashtag, but with a price tag of $25. I'm Annie Taylor reporting. There's a new way to make some extra cash and it's all through Airbnb, but the best part about it is you don't have to rent out a room to some stranger, but you do have to ask yourself, how well do you know your city? So this is a uh, post alley. It's kind of the, the, uh, the, the side entrance into the, the public market. A Washington native, uh, Tim mezzan has been taking well, pictures right professionally in Seattle for many years. Things get a little, a little slim in the winter time. When finances got tight this past yeah. December, Tim needed an alternate route to make some side money. On the weekends, you can't even get through here. It's really? just packed full of people. It just so happened that Airbnb had opened up an experience in Seattle. Oh my goodness. Welcome to the gum hole. Okay. I gotta pick my spot. Yeah. That would take you to the most Instagrammable places in the Emerald City. I think this one right here next to this peace sign. Yeah. Leave my mark. You're welcome, Seattle. While many other hosts offer experiences like surf lessons, sushi making classes, and silent disco yoga, Tim decided to create a simple walking tour. So here's the iconic market opening. This is so cool. Yeah. As we made our way through downtown, along the sound and into the market, Tim's picturesque stroll through Seattle was uncomplicated. I wanted to come up with something that was walking and very photogenic and uh, fun. If you decide to create an experience in your own city, Tim suggests making it a point to showcase the famous places. It's the original Starbucks. Yeah, that's where it all began. And the secret spots. <laughs> As you can see, Airbnb makes it easy to make additional money. The application process is quick, and as long as you have some free time, anyone can do it. It gives you a chance to meet other people, um, kind of look at your city through a, a different lens, if you will. Right now, Airbnb experiences are only in select cities like Seattle, Washington, but they could soon be coming to a place near you, so you too could be making some extra cash. For the now, I'm Annie Taylor.